Another great new feature, and this is one I've been wondering why it wasn't included before now, is a new autocomplete feature for when you're typing in a command. And this works either on the command line or in the dynamic input uh, area. And I have my dynamic input on, so we can see this better, but it works again for both the command line or the dynamic input. And let's say that I want to run the pline gen command so that I can change the line type generation for any polylines that I might draw. Well, once I begin to type in the first couple of letters, the commands that contain those first couple of letters begin to appear in a drop down box. So once I see that I have enough letters without having to type in the entire command, it can start to differentiate it from a different command. And then I only have to come down here in the list to select the command. And you also have certain control over how this is set up. So if I right click in my command line area, I have a new choice here on my right click menu uh, for autocomplete. And in here I have the options that I can change. I can turn that to auto append. Uh, that way it will automatically complete the command line in the dynamic input or command line once it has enough letters to be complete. I can also turn on or off the suggestion list that appears. I would probably leave those first two on. You can also have it display icons for the commands or not. Now you might could turn that off just to keep it cleaner looking and I'll show you how that looks by turning it off and again you, these are just toggles so if you pick on it it turns it on but just as we did for the P line here again you just have the command you don't have the little icon showing whether it's a system variable or a command or a, an option uh, anything such as that going back to that I can also have it display system variables that match the name that you're typing in and I think that's a good thing that you don't have to go to the system variable editor and express tools to get to them. Uh, you can also set a delay time uh, before the list appears and it will prompt you for a delay time if you do turn it on. Or if you have it off the list appears instantaneously. And again these are toggles so selecting them either turns them on or off.